spoke fondly about while testifying Wednesday. Peyton fought back tears and even got choked up at times, saying Smith was special, rare, as a teammate and a person. I hope I never have to speak at another one of these. His testimony followed Raquel Smith's. She was shot in both legs last April in the Lower Garden District when her husband was shot seven times in the back and killed. In court, she talked about how hard the death of Will has been on their kids. One, she says, is lost and has nightmares almost every night. She even looked Cardell Hayes in the face and said, I was gunned down and it's a feeling I will never forget. But to see my kids hurting is worse than being shot. Prosecutors are asking that Hayes receive the full 60 year prison sentence after his convictions for manslaughter and attempted manslaughter last December. Hayes sat quietly in an orange prison jumpsuit in court wearing shackles and had a short haircut. Before the victim impact statements made by Smith's family and friends, the judge in this case, Camille Buris, wasted no time in rejecting Hayes' defense team's motion for a new trial. They called a man, Michael Burnside, who lives more than a mile from the scene because they say he told them he heard gunfire the night of the crime. But prosecutors dismissed his testimony, calling it the crescendo of ridiculousness and they even said they feel that the man is insane. Hayes' family will have the chance to testify on Thursday. His young son and cousin, bounce artist Big Frida, were in court today to show their support.